I'm here outside Wilson High School where protesters have gathered in the morning as children, high school students are walking into class and they're telling them, hey, you don't have to mask up if you don't want to. You have constitutional rights. They're here in support of a student who they say his name is Wyatt. We're going to learn more about who exactly Wyatt is, but right now we're not quite sure. It's really loud behind me. One guy is saying, hey, the kids are wearing diapers. There's a confrontation right now between the protesters and the students. They don't like the way that he's using the word segregation. It does not matter. You asking where my condition is would lead to discrimination. That's the whole point. I was talking to a student here at Wilson, and what he told me is that the student that kind of got the ball rolling here, his name is Wyatt. Allegedly, Wyatt was inside of a Spanish classroom, and he decided, you know, I'm not going to wear my mask. He took it off. Uh, long story short, Wyatt ended up being uh, suspended. A student tells me that he was a spent suspended for two days. Well, when Wyatt came back to school, he started passing out some literature or pamphlet to the other students, letting them know, giving them notice of the protest happening here behind me. Now, some students have confronted the protester on his science. They say he's talking politics and not science. He's a pretty bright kid. He asked them the size of um, an atom of carbon dioxide. The, the protester, the organizer, he didn't have a good answer and the student let him know, hey, if you're gonna do one, pick one. Either it's politics or it's science. We're here in the city of Long Beach. Long Beach has lost uh, a few months ago a thousand residents to COVID-19. The virus and the debate and the politics are strong here. What we're gonna do is keep you posted on what happens here at Wilson. There are administrators here. The students are gathered outside right now. They're now being told to come inside of the school, report to class. We do have, there is campus security here. They're watching things. There have been a, some students that did wanna confront the protesters, didn't agree, but they do have some supporters. What I can tell you is that Long Beach Unified School District and the community, we all have to come together to figure out how we're going to address COVID-19 in a way that's going to be healthy for our entire community. And it's getting dicey out here, but this is Franklin Sims reporting live for Long Beach News Today, reporting for Long Beach families. I hope we can make it Working hard for that paycheck, yeah And we ain't asking for a whole lot Just to give us what you promised us Cause I'm from Long Beach yeah, yeah. She's my heartbeat yeah. And I'm not giving up on her Cause we family Yeah, I'm from Long Beach yeah, yeah. She's my heartbeat yeah. And I'm not giving up on her Cause I remember Cause I remember how she loved her sunsets Yeah and how she loved to dance